Yeah, CARE Oklahoma wants this event to be a place where people can share stories of friends and family who are in Gaza right now. But they also believe that prayer is important for the people that are in those stories. The community needed something to come together and to provide support for one another and some even slight emotional relief for all the challenges we are going through. The Prayers for Palestine event is all about giving Muslims in Oklahoma City a chance to be together and share stories about loved ones in Gaza. We have to offer prayers for the people who are suffering and for those connected directly to them. But we also felt it was important to highlight the stories of the real human beings. The local Council on American Islamic Relations says they've been wanting to have an event for Palestine but had good reason to wait. We had to take our time in putting together an event like this because we wanted to ensure that not only would it be a beneficial event for the community, it's unfortunate that we had to hire a private. Hamas attacked Israel. Local leaders say they felt a rise in Islamophobia. To be a Muslim in Oklahoma and in America right now, it, it is something in which you have to stay cautious and look out for the safety of not only yourself, but your community members and your family. They're hoping today's event will help Oklahomans understand the conflict better. And we're going to be providing some educational materials tonight for attendees so that they can do that. This could act as a catalyst for others outside of the Muslim community or the Palestinian community to come together and be able to show their support for their fellow Oklahomans. Prayers for Palestine starts tonight at 7 and will be in the building across from the Islamic Society building. In Oklahoma City, Colby Terrell, KOCO.